everyone is unique. No one has the same story as me, and no one has the same story as you. So, I want to know what it's like to be you. You get up, you go to school, you go home. For most of us, that's how a normal school day works. But for thousands of students around the country who go to boarding school, their day can be completely different. Boarding school students live and study at their school, and they head home at weekends or on school holidays. So, what's it like to go to boarding school? G'day, how you going? Hi, my name is Pip and I'm 16 years old. G'day. My name's Bryn. Hi, my name's Chase and I'm 13. My name's Ella and I go to boarding school. My friends would describe me as maybe, um... I hope they describe me as kind, funny and nice. Fun to be around, a bit goofy sometimes. Talks a lot, probably should quiet down a bit. Pretty outgoing um, and confident. And just all around easy going guy. I'd like to think they describe me as that anyway. When I first found out I was going to boarding school it was probably from a young age. When I first found out, I wasn't so sure if I was going to be excited or how I felt about it. But then the closer I got to going, the more excited I got. Parents had a chat with me about it and I felt pretty excited at first. Then when I got there, I was a bit nervous. All my older siblings went to boarding school as well. So it was always just like, it wasn't like, oh, will I go or will I not? It was always like, oh, I'm going to boarding school. Yeah. The decision was probably, it was mostly mine, but my parents just sort of edged me on saying, you should go, it'll be fun. My parents asked me if I wanted to do it, and I just thought to myself, like, that's what I want to do. I jumped at the opportunity. I really wanted to go. I felt sort of nervous when school was coming up because, like, I was going to have to make new friends and, like, all my friends from home, like, I wouldn't get to see them as much. So I was a bit nervous. But when I got there, it was completely different. I mean, it wasn't as daunting as I thought it was. On my first day at boarding school, I was so nervous. Pretty daunting, meeting new people, didn't know where they're from. Some people knew each other, some didn't. My parents and I rocked up, just me. We got to the house, didn't know where my room was. But I got to see all other boys and they were just like me. They were all a bit nervous and excited. Yeah, it was quite daunting and scary, but it was also fun, it was kind of thrilling. We had a big talk with all the boarding co coordinators and all the other kids, and then they just put us on a bus and sent us down to get an ice cream and see you later, parents. Um, well, boarding school on a day-to-day -day basis, it's quite a routine, so you, you get woken up at a certain time. 6.50. 7.30. 7 o'clock in the morning. 4 o'clock in the morning for sport. Having a shower, brushing your teeth, getting dressed, ready for school. And then we head over to breakfast. And then school starts at 8.15. You have your school from 8.15 to 3.15, and then you come back. I might have sport or an activity after school. Play footy, touch. Go to the pool. Play, like, footy or go to the basketball court. I'd have the gym or I'd just go home. Come back in at 4.30. 4.30 to 5, I've got to get ready for study. And then at 6 o'clock, we have dinner in the dining hall. That's also one of my favourite parts of the day. 6.30 to quarter past 7. More study, so all up an hour and three quarters. We go hand our phones in at 8.30. So before that, we call our parents or just hop on social media like that. So it's a very routine-like day, but it's good to have a bit of structure, I think. It just sets a good structure of what you need to do to live a good life, yeah. I think the best part about boarding school is the friendships that you make. You become so close with these people that you probably never would have met. Everyone's from all over the place, like Hong Kong, Saudi Arabia, the Gold Coast, all the country towns as well. So you'd never get the chance to meet these people and like become such close friends with them if you didn't go to boarding school. It just forms tight bonds that you will have for a long, long time after school. So you're missing your family a lot, but there's also a sense of making it like another family here. Uh, the worst parts about boarding school 
would just have to be some of the rules because it's like at home you may not have to hand in your phone and laptop or go to bed at a certain time or go to dinner at a certain time and especially going out like from school you have to go through a lot of procedures to like go to a friend's house or go out where usually at home you could just tell mum you're leaving and go. I think the worst part about boarding school is being away from your family. Not only seeing your friends from home, uh, not seeing your family and just not being like not having your parents there when you want them there. Probably just not seeing your family to be honest yeah. But the longer you are at boarding school, the easier that gets. Well, with me, for the first few weeks of Year 7, I got really homesick. But I just started thinking, like, I'm going to see my parents eventually. Nothing bad's going to happen. Like, I've got all my brothers here. Why don't I just deal with it? Well, I do get a little bit homesick, I suppose, but... I'm kind of used to it by now, and it's so busy at boarding school. You've got sport, and you're always around people, so I don't really think about it too much. So when I miss my parents, I talk to them on the phone, and you have such a good support system at boarding school because you're always with your friends. You, like, have such a good bond, so they're there for you when you need them to be. I think getting homesick is a very normal thing. When I went home, it's almost expected to be homesick, Especially when you're younger, it's a very shock to the system. I talk to a lot of people about my homesickness. Like, I talked to the boarding coordinator, the live-in, and they were all very supportive and, like, just helped me get through it. So the generic questions that get asked about boarding school, is it like Harry Potter? Do you stay there all the time? Do you get trapped in? Is it haunted? Yeah, they do ask me if it's haunted or if it's dark and scary and stormy. I think they just think it's Harry Potter. I'm just Harry Potter living his normal life. I get asked a lot if I get along with the other girls in the boarding house. How's school going? Are you liking it? Should I send my kid there? Look, it's quite funny. I just have to play along with it sometimes. Yes, it is. I, I ride a broom to school. Actually, a lot of people are always interested in what you eat. Oh. Um, controversial question. Well, when I first went there, I was always thinking, oh, boarding school food, like, it's not going to be very good. But then there's some days where I'd rather not eat it, but you still eat it just to fill your stomach. And there's some days, like, chicken stits or that, it's just great. A bit of a hit and miss sometimes. Sometimes the meals are great, sometimes they're not too good. They don't really compare to food at home, but they're still pretty good. Personally, I'm not that fussy, so I love the food. But the, probably the worst thing about it is just they're repetitive. It's because, like, they have to prepare for 120 people. Um, they always have to get food on the table, so we sort of just expect it to be like mum and dad's food, but it's not always going to be that because it has to be mass-produced. So everyone's just got to take it with a grain of salt. My favourite meal is butter chicken. It's pretty good. Oh, I love the school brownies. They're my favourite. It's burgers. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's easy. You can't really go wrong with burgers, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, we get cho chocolate cake, ice cream. Yeah, it's great. I think my favourite meal is pesto pasta. I love pesto pasta. <laughs> well, we go home every five weeks. as a boarders free weekend. Not every boarding school does that, so my sister's school doesn't do that. Um, we leave on a Friday, get back on a Tuesday or something like that, so we get the weekend just to say good day. And then we see them on the two-week holidays. So, yeah, about every five weeks is the maximum time you'd go without seeing your family. I'm, I do enjoy going home and just being with my family. Oh, it feels, it feels great. You get to see everyone that you haven't seen in a while. So you always see them give them a big hug. When I get to go home, it just feels, like, amazing because you get to go and see your family. You get to sleep in all you want. You can eat whenever you want. You can go outside whenever you want. You don't need to ask permission to do anything. I feel like when you go away to boarding school, you appreciate home a lot more. So when you go home, you really look forward to seeing your parents, sleeping in your own bed, using your own shower, those type of things. And it's just really nice to be, you know, home and unwind. Then you also really look forward to going back to school and back to the routines and things you had. So it's a good balance. You appreciate both a lot more when you, you know, change in between the two. 
I feel like boarding school has had a very positive impact on me, like letting me expand my knowledge on all different ranges of things and always, like, getting to know more people. Um, boarding school, it's sort of just brought out the best in me. So I probably already had the academic ability in me, but they've just pushed me to become the best person I can be. It teaches you to be really independent, like I do my own washing, I catch public transport by myself, I make my own plans for the weekend. So it definitely makes me more independent, I would say, in the sense that you're always doing things by yourself and organising things. Boarding school, yeah, I think it has a positive impact on me because of the routine and the structure they have there and they've always got, uh, they're all really organised, just to make me in the future more organised. Well, boarding school has definitely taught me many skills that I, will definitely help me when I'm older. For example, independence, organisation, diligence. And I think these skills will definitely help me in the future. I definitely think going to boarding school has opened up a lot of opportunities for me. Um, just knowing people and trying new things has opened up a lot of doors. The friendships that I've made at boarding school are really special. I think the friends that I've made I'll have for the rest of my life. We all come from such different places. I'd hope they'd be friendships for life. Mum and Dad, who have gone to boarding school, still talk to them. They love their friends that they've made at boarding school. So I hope that my friends are love and know them forever. Boarding school now, it just feels like home away from home because you've got lots of friends there and it's just like having a second family.